BD5 pilot with you out at the Hillsboro hangar and uh, got a new set of problems to talk about and it has to deal with the alternator on the engine. So you might recall I've had some earlier talks about how ZDZ was originally working on an alternator for me that would have mounted back onto the starter ring and uh, they had some problems with uh, heating and getting it, the, it to work correctly. So they actually referred me to another company who uh, were going to do the alternator for the last uh, two and a half, three months. They've been saying they're going to work on getting something developed for it, but uh, got a letter from them recently and they said, uh, no, they can't do the, uh, do the alternator for me. They, uh, despite our numerous conversations and me talking about sitting in the airplane, operating avionics and stuff, and the electrical needs, they suddenly realized this was a manned project and they couldn't be involved in a man project. So uh, they're out of the picture. So I've been looking into a B and C alternator gets used in a lot of experimental aircraft. It's a 40 amp alternator, perfectly fine for uh, the use that this aircraft's gonna need for electrical systems. So I'm uh, checking into that system uh, to either fabricate a mount on the motor itself that uh, then feeds off of a pulley that's just behind the starter ring or a system that uh, is going to feed off of the drive system. And when I say drive system, I'm meaning the propeller drive system, the Jerry Koth design belt driven uh, reduction that's for the engine itself. Now, on, air, on aircraft that use over a 100 horsepower engine or uh, have uh, concerns for the vibration that'll occur. So part, part of the reason this is designed this way is so that, that as that propeller is turned by the engine, this will take up some of the uh, torsional vibration that'll come through the engine that can uh, uh, cause problems, harmonic problems in the uh, aircraft. We don't want these vibrations building up that uh, cause the aircraft to come apart. So this belt drive system, as well as uh, up on the top there, that is a sprig clutch that makes it one it moves one way uh, if we turn it the other way it uh, the, the propeller doesn't turn it turns one way and then the other way it doesn't really turn so it ends up being kind of freewheeling if i uh, if i lose an engine but as a result when we're really putting power through this this side of the belt will have a little bit of flop in it and so there's a tensioner that uh, is in the Koth design that will uh, put some pressure against there. And so one of the thoughts I had is if I uh, don't successfully find a, a way to mount the alternator on top of the engine itself right next to the starter is to mount the alternator back here with assist, a pulley that will push it against the outside of this, uh, this belt. I prefer being able to run it off a pulley on the engine itself, but uh, this is a secondary way we might be able to drive that. And if you're still with me, uh, what I'm actually at the hangar for is waiting for it to warm up and work on that uh, right side switches, get those uh, cut out and fit, and then I put the right side uh, panel back onto the aircraft and uh, see the fit and finish for uh, the final configuration of the instrument panel. So uh, BD-5 Pilot is going to uh, be out for now doing that work. I'll put another video together with the panel work, but uh, wanted to let you know what was happening with the alternator.